Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray. And today on Firehouse Kitchen, we are gonna be cooking chili. Chili is a very big part of the fire department. And I was actually at a cooking contest a few months ago and I met Larry Weiss, West Sable Fireman's number one chef. Now, like most firemen who think we're chefs, we're not. Larry is a bona fide chef. He's been teaching culinary school for years. He's won numerous cooking contests. He's been on TV many, many times. And when I tasted his chili, I had to have that chili on this show. So as you can see how competitive Wasaval is, we are gonna taste Larry's number one chili, his Sashwan turkey chili. And when you see what's in this, you're not gonna believe it's chili. You're gonna believe it's a gourmet meal that is the best tasting chili I've ever had. So I hope you enjoy this episode of Firehouse Kitchen. All right, we are here in West Sable Fire Department with Larry Weiss. Larry, how are you, brother? How are you, man? Good. Now, I met Larry a couple years, uh, actually not that, a couple years ago, actually a couple months ago at a uh, chili cook-off that we have for the Islip Town Museum. Um, it's, a, it's called the Big Chili Cook-Off. We had about 15 different fire departments there making chili, and one chili just jumped out at me, and it was the Empire Sashwan Chili. Is Empire in there or is it just Sashwan? No, just, um, just Sashwan. Just Sashwan. Well, to me it's Empire because it was, it was unbelievable. This chili, it's nothing I've ever tasted before. It was, uh, I was actually in the cook-off. I didn't win. <laughs> and I had delicious bacon chili. I thought the bacon was going to do it, but it, it just didn't do it. Tell us about Empire. Uh, tell us about your Sashwan turkey chili. Okay, Sashwan turkey chili was invented in my kitchen. Uh, I wanted to put out a low-fat uh, something that had really good flavor. So we came up with a chili. And instead of using all the Tex-Mex chili, I substituted uh, Asian heat for it. So not only is it low fat, but it's low in sodium. There's no salt in this whatsoever, and the soy sauce that goes in is low sodium. Now, you tell me before, there's only 300 calories, so 330 calories? Yeah, 330 something calories in it, uh, and uh, three, 6.3 grams of fat or something. It's really wow. low fat, too. Because I know most firehouse chilies that we usually make, and fire, chili is huge in the fire department. Um, it's probably 1,000 calories a bowl, 2,000 calories a bowl, more cheese, lots of onions, lots of sauce. Uh, you know, red meat, uh, we throw steak in there. Basically, whatever's on the table, we'll chop up, we'll put it in our chili in, in the firehouse. Now, this is Sashwan chili, and you know, in the firehouse, this isn't something that we would normally make, but as I said before in the opening, Larry is a chef. He is a renowned chef. He teaches culinary at Suffolk Community College. He's been on numerous cooking shows. Yep. Uh, this chili, you tell me, won a chili contest. This one in 2002, it won the Key Command Food Service Professional Recipe Contest, grand prize winner. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. And uh, National Turkey Federation 2001, this took the grand prize for that too. Wow. Now, every fireman thinks they're a chef in the kitchen. This is my first time actually cooking with a real firehouse chef. There you go. All right. Whether I'm in my whites or I'm in my t-shirt, I'm still That's a chef. it. Well, fireman, we always cook in t-shirts. It's just how we are. All right. No aprons. You know, if we get it on us, we just, we use our shirts. And uh, let's start. Let's make some empire. Oh, Sashwan chili. I want let's, to call it empire. Let's do it. It's delicious. All, All right. right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to brown some um, turkey meat. Okay. All right. We're going to turn this up. This is turkey meat, so it's not going to break up like beef. It's low fads, doesn't have a lot of juice coming out of it. Usually 80% lean is what I use, but this is 93, so it's gonna be even healthier. In the fire department, we usually have like 100% fat. Yeah, it's and that's sorry. usually the one, if they have a healthy choice, they'll take the fat one. All right, so we have to wait for that to brown up. So while this is browning, let's cut some vegetables. All right. Why don't you take the green peppers and red peppers, green cut peppers. them up and I'll do the onion. Love green peppers. And cut them up so that they're bite sized, but they're not too big. All right, I just butchered your green pepper. It likes it that way. Yeah, they usually don't let me handle knives in the fire department, but it's all right. All right, so we're gonna need about a cup of each. Okay. Now, do you ever put like the spicy hot peppers in or the... Uh... No, usually not. You know, chili, you're supposed to be able to taste the flavor. And yeah. if it's too hot, all you do is taste the heat and it burns your mouth and you ruin your taste buds. All right, all right. So that's pretty good. So let me have one of those bowls. Sure. Got some of my seeds in there. Yeah. All right, am I... I'm not as good as chopping as you are, Larry, but... <laughs> I never went to culinary school. I went to the cooking school of hard knocks. 
That's the All kitchen right. in my firehouse. You keep going on that. I'll cut the red pepper. Ah! All right, you're probably going to cut like two or three things before I cut one thing. But that's all right. Now, why my eyes were starting to water? Is there something I don't know, maybe very it's, I don't know, Maybe it's something you ate. I don't think it's, it's the onion. It's not the onion? <laughs> it couldn't possibly be the onion. I think I just have weak eyes. All right. So, we've got green and red peppers. And it looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Everything's going. It's cooking up nice. I like All to right, make this into a patty and make a turkey burger out of it. That's good. <laughs> Just leave it lumpy. It's good. All right. We're going to saute some vegetables, so we're going to put some oil in. All right, now what kind of oil are you using? peanut oil to give it some authentic flavor. Okay, a little peanut and oil. And now we have the onions and the peppers. We're going to put right. those in. Give them a nice sear. Get those cooking up nice. Yeah, we don't want them to brown, but we want them to be nice and, nice and soft. Okay. So we're going to yeah. saute these a little bit, just to get them soft, cold Good. sweating. All right. Now how long would you normally saute these for? A uh, good three or four minutes. Three or four minutes. No browning. No browning. Yeah, you don't want to get that, that burnt, like, sauteed uh, taste. No. Yeah, that happens to me just about every time I cook garlic. Ah, garlic. talk about garlic, here it goes. Talk about garlic. There goes the garlic. Everything is, is better with garlic. And this is grated ginger. We're going to put these in in the beginning because what we want to do is we want to start to build some flavor. Okay. All right, it's looking pretty brown there, Larry. Uh, okay, why don't we add that to the pot? All right. I'm going to add the turkey to the pot. Be careful so you don't burn yourself. Okay. There you go. Get it all in there. Excellent. Oh, especially that juice. That's the good stuff. Yeah, that's real nice That's juice. the good stuff. Good flavor. That's the stuff I like. So now it's just a matter of adding everything else, and we're going to let it uh, simmer. So we're going to put in a half a cup of soy sauce. Half a cup of soy sauce. That's the healthy part, right? The soy sauce is very right. good because it's got lots of salt. We're going to add black beans. Black beans. Which is a little different than regular chili that has red beans in it. Mm -hmm. Some tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. Some tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes. Now it's just looking not like chili, but... Not yet. Like something. Oh, now it's starting to transform. All right, now we're gonna put the spices in. All right, now what spices are we adding? All right, we're using Asian chili paste. Asian chili paste. It's not sriracha. This is now. Chunky. I guess chili is big in Asia. That's they have their own paste. Well, there's different regions in Asia. <laughs> and, and what was that? And depends on that was chili powder. Chili powder. This is wasabi powder. Wasabi. Wasabi. <laughs> Chinese five spice, Chinese. white pepper. All right. All right. So we're gonna cook this down. Okay. And we're gonna let it simmer for I would say a good 35, 40 minutes. Uh, if we were making a large batch for all the guys in the fire. Yeah, it's usually 15 guys uh, eating. It would probably be two hours because the pot would be like this big. Okay. So now uh, in the firehouse, we usually don't have. Chinese sauce and different spices. We usually use salt and pepper. But when we're cooking with... Not a West Saber. Not West Saber, we have a full complement of spices. A full, that, do you? Yeah. We use thyme sometimes, like the, the thyme and the... And the uh, oh, we have plenty of time to use thyme. Yeah, yeah, plenty of time to use thyme. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because we're usually very basic in, the, in New York City. We just... Uh, yeah, salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Well, you know, as much garlic. butter as you can put in mashed potatoes. Yeah, you know, and that makes it best. Makes it better. Garlic mashed potatoes are my favorite. Okay. And so they mean garlic mashed potatoes, by the way. All right, this is going to take a little bit of time to simmer, so why don't we clean up and okay. we'll come we'll back to up. the pot, okay? Sounds good. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is safety on the stove. Now, we know to turn the pots in. We've heard all those things, but the kids pulling the pots down, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a grease fire, okay? We've got to respect fire, and you've got to respect grease, because if grease ignites, it could cause a big problem. Now, you might think to throw water on that fire, that would be the worst thing that you could do. The number one thing that you could do is if there's a pot lid or a pan cover, you could just cover that up and smother it, okay? That would actually be number one. But if you don't have one of those available or something that fits, um, baking soda, salt, it works. It'll put out the fire. But the number one thing that you could put on a grease fire is actually milk. 
Milk has fat and protein in it, and that helps smother the fire. Whenever we go to a fire in the, in the fire department, and we have, say, a grease fire, an oil fire, we have something called foam that we spray over the fire, and it smothers the fire instead of spraying it around like water would do. So we use milk. We pour it on nice and slowly. If you have heavy cream, heavy cream works 10 times better than milk. Why? Because it has more fat and it has more protein. And you pour it on nice and slow, and you'll just see the fire extinguish. I'm Firefighter Ray. This was Safety on a Stove. And remember, these tips save lives. All right, we're all cleaned up. The sauce, or I should say the chili, is right to where we want to be. It's really, really looking good. Larry, how are we doing? We're doing real good. We're ready for one more ingredient. One more ingredient. Is this the special ingredient? This is the, the special secret? ingredient. This makes it taste really Asian. This is uh, sesame oil. Sesame oil. And it goes in at the end because it's not a cooking oil, it's a flavoring oil. Very nice. Now, Larry, I'm just curious, how did you get into cooking? Um, my family was in a restaurant business. I started when I was young, went to high school, mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to be in the uh, home ec okay. class, and uh, they said, oh no, you can't be in a home ec class because you're a boy. So you now know, today, it's non-traditional, and if you're a boy or a girl, everyone right. is the same, right. okay? It's just, uh, just like in the fire department. We've got... Mostly men, but there are some women too, and they can pull hose just like anybody else. Yeah, they kicked me out of machine class and they put me in a home. Act. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was, I was dangerous to myself. <laughs> now, home ec, uh, so from there, you, you went to culinary school? You went to culinary? I went to culinary school, came what? out, started working in some restaurants, and then around 23 years old, there was my calling. My calling was is I wanted to teach. So okay. I was 23 years old. I was teaching culinary arts to high school students. Wow. Did it for 32 years. Decided to retire. And after 10 months of sitting there and being retired, I says, no, I can't, can't retire. Mm -hmm. Especially, you can't take the chef out of the kitchen. Okay. So I needed to go back into education. So now I'm at the college. So now you're at the college. Now yeah. in high school, were you the teacher that everybody wanted? Or did you... Uh you, you well, I was the first year teacher, and uh, because of my uh, flamboyant personality and whatever, um, they always said, oh, we liked you the best. Meanwhile, you know, like, I wasn't there to make their, make friends. I was there to be in there. And if I made friends with them at the same time, that was great. Do you have any students that went on to be chefs? That, uh, well, I've got a lot of students that went on to be chefs. Uh -huh. And that you, made, they, that you made a big difference in their life. You know, the, yes, as a matter of fact, I still stay in touch with them, and mm -hmm. they say, oh, you made such an impact on my life, and I'll do something weird, and I'll hear about it, and I'll go back, and I'll give them my, uh, my opinion about it, and okay. they'll say, six years later, you're still trying to show me how to do it? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Well, they might call in when they see this on Firehouse Kitchen. You know, they might yeah, say, well, let's hope so. No, Larry, you didn't put enough uh, sesame oil in, okay? <laughs> no, let's yeah. not hope that. <laughs> you taught high school, you taught college, you touched thousands of lives, you know, I think that's, uh, I think that's incredible. And then you became a fireman, you know, yep. when, well, how long have you been a, a, a West Sable fireman? Uh, 20 years. 20 years. Yep. All right. And while I, when I moved into the, uh, into the district, I, um, every time I went by the firehouse, I felt something tugging at my heart. Okay. And it was just like something I had to do. And you know yourself mm -hmm. that you have to be a special type of person. You need that. You need that burning inside in order to get out and put out fires. Yeah, you know it, it is. Uh, it is like you hear most people they won't run into fires. We, that's like the greatest thing in the world is running into a burning building. You know, it's, you get an adrenaline rush. You know, we're allowed to break things and throw water on everything, and uh, yeah, it does. And I think that's why that's why firemen have such a bond because. You know what it's like. I know what it's like. Yeah. And it's 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 something that you know most people don't feel. You know, people think we're crazy. We're crazy firemen. Okay. I also heard silly firemen. You know. Yeah. Oh, but uh, sleepy firemen. But drunk no, firemen. No, but yeah, drunk <laughs> drunk firemen never. Oh gosh. Yeah. But um, but it is uh, it's you know it's an it's an, it's an unbelievable thing the bond that firemen have. You know, and now you coming into the firehouse. You know, we're used to meat and potatoes, we're used to this. Now a chef walks into the firehouse. That's it. You know, and uh, you probably took everyone by storm. I'll tell you, it's all about firehouse cooking. And talk about firehouse cooking, how did this show suck? I got into development of the show after I retired from the FDMY. And, uh, and we actually got approached uh, by the Islip Town Museum and, uh, because uh, we filmed a couple of firehouse cooking segments. And uh, me and my partner, Ian Fidel, um, 
we came up with Firehouse Kitchen, where we go around to different firehouses and we uh, and we cook with firemen. We share stories, we talk, uh, recipes, you know, just to give out a little bit of firehouse life to the world. Because everyone thinks, you know, what, all those things that we just said about ourselves, there's a lot more to being a fireman. Um, and uh, the Iceland Town Museum is uh, building the the museum right next to Duck Stadium, so we're going to try to raise money to. Uh, to get a learning center built where we can educate people with fire prevention. I do a lot of fire prevention for the town of Bayport. And um, I go around to all the schools, I talk about fire prevention, stop, drop, and roll, want to change your batteries on your fire, thing, on your fire smoke detector. And even in the show, I do safety tips and I do fire facts. Because a lot of people don't know a lot about the fire department. Um, and then it just spiraled and now, you know, we're, you know, PBS and all these different stations and, uh, and we're just sharing the world with our life and, and, uh, and we try to raise money for a good cause. Yeah, yeah. I wish, wish a lot of luck. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. All right. Are we just about ready to plate this thing up? I, I think? think we should plate this bad boy up because I am starving. I want to okay. have some Empire Sash... Well, just Sash Lunch. I'm just calling it Empire because it's that good. It's that good. All right. So we're going to put this over some, um, some jade rice. Okay. Is right. it different it's, from... Yeah, it's an Asian rice. It's other side from uh, Carolina rice, which is uh, non-starch. Uh, a uh, Uncle Ben's rice, which is uh, converted, it's parboiled, mm -hmm. and this is used primarily in Asia because it's sticky and it's easy to be able to pick it up with uh, chopsticks. Can you buy it in any supermarket, or is this just? Sure. Uh, yeah. And what, what would you look for? Just Asian rice? Or? Um, jasmine rice. Jasmine rice. Okay. Or rose rice, something right. that's uh, that's Such Asian. Such nice names yeah, for these rices. Nice. Jasmine <laughs> and rose. Like. Yeah. All right, let me get the rice. Okay, get the rice. Let me get the rice. Oh. We got our rice. Let me get our serving bowls. Right, let me tell you a little bit about rice cooking. Okay. Rice is usually made in a pot. You put the water, boiling water in, you add a little bit of salt, you stir in the rice, put okay. the cover on, and you let it sit for 20, 25 minutes. This is a rice cooker. This is one of the only appliances that I have. I really believe in uh, doing it from scratch. Mm -hmm. I've learned traditionally and classically. So appliances were... So it comes out virtually painting. perfect every time? Yeah, it does. Because I have, I know rice is uh, like, it's hard to make rice. It's not a lot to make rice, but you can mess up rice whether you put too much water in you. I remember one time in the firehouse, one of our senior guys was uh, making rice, and I was a probie, and I came up behind him, and everyone was busting his chops about the rice, you know. And I woke up behind him, and I said, uh, "What are you making this soup?" And he <laughs> lost his mind. Get out of the kitchen, probe. Get in the house. What? And I did. And, uh, uh, that's what you get. Now I know I do not make fun of other people's rice, especially when they're really trying hard to get it right. And, all right, so. All right, let's see if the rice is done first. Get a little taste. Looks, looks very good. That looks pretty hot, though. Just about right. All right. All right. So, you told me to get the teacup. What are we using the teacup for? We're going to take the rice. It's that hot, huh? Oh, yeah. It's delicious. We're going to take the rice, we're going to put it in a teacup, we we'll turn it upside down, nice nice mound of rice in the center. We're okay. going to take the chili and put it around the edge. All right, so I'm going to scoop this Please. up. All right, so I'm going to pat it in there. Yeah. Okay, let's make it look nice and smooth and do it right in the middle. Whoa, <laughs> very nice. Is that too much of a mountain of rice? Oh, that one will be mine. All right. Okay. <laughs> Gotta watch my girlish figure. That's it. Well, we all worry about our figures, don't uh, we? I guess. <laughs> awesome. And you really feel it when you're going up a ladder. It's like, oh, yeah. I shouldn't have had that last hamburger. Yeah, we had a big guy in my firehouse. Uh, I won't say his name. Uh, but uh, we call him the wave by. We'd say his last name in the wave by because we'd be running up. And if he had, he'd just go, pass me. Pass me. <laughs> <laughs> And if you had the roof for it, you know, this is the... Go ahead, run up, run up. So bad. Okay. All Here right. Go. Let's move the rice out of the way. Okay. And we're going to take this chili and spoon it around. Nice and generous. Because we like to eat fine and like to eat. Well, there's yours. Oh, baby. You never hear anybody say, oh, please, not that much chili. No, nobody ever complains no, about the no, portions. No, nothing like chili. They just complain when they come back for seconds and there's no more. <laughs> yeah, we'll put this down. Let me get rid of this chili. Very we're nice. Gonna do the finishing touches here. All right, now this is the garnish. 
This is the garnish. This is now, do we eat this garnish? Yes, you can eat this garnish. Eat this garnish. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of scallion on the top. Look at that. Can I try that? Hope so. All right, let's see. Let's see how good I am at cutting. All right, you ready? Is that as fast as you? All right, I just thought I'd just give it a try. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Well, this is toasted sesame seed, so right. we're going to finish that off up here. Put a little bit on the edge of the plate. Make it look nice. Wow. And we'll finish it off with some scallions over the top. This is beautiful. And you'll be a star if you serve that at the fire. All right, now do you ever have guys questioning like, uh, this doesn't look like chili. Like, well, this is like artwork. it looks a little dark uh, and it looks really nice, but it's never too nice to eat. We'll try it now. You know what? Let's take it downstairs and uh, we'll have a little chat on the rig and we'll uh, eat some chili. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, now we're sitting here on the back of the rescue truck in the firehouse. We usually don't eat on the apparatus floor, but I really wanted to show off the back of this truck, get West Sable Fire Department in here for having us uh, here cooking in their firehouse. Very big thanks. Now, um, Larry, we have yep. our big chili cook-off coming up again this, this September here at West Sable Fire Department. If you want to go to the big chili cook-off, um, you can just go on firehousekitchenshow.com. You'll have information about that if you want to join. Any fire department can join. Um, there's a thousand dollar cash prize. We do um, gift certificates to the second runner up to steakhouses. It's a really, really good fun day. We have great sponsors for it. We had uh, Blue Point Brewery last time. Um, that's always a good thing when it comes to firemen. You have to include a brewery or else they won't come. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this next year that's coming up this September, uh, do you have any plans on making another chili? Uh, I don't want to give all the secrets away, but I think it's going to involve buffalo. Buffalo. So buffalo chili. I buffalo know. Buffalo chili, not as in the Buffalo Bills, not as in Buffalo wings, but we're going to use regular buffalo. Regular buffalo. So I'm going to get some buffalo in there. You know, give the cows a rest and the turkeys a rest. Sounds good. Um, I'm I'm probably going to make. Uh, I'm, I'm calling it uh, first dew on fire chili. It's going to be my special recipe. It's going to be very very good. So if you want to come down and taste firefighter raised chili, it's going to be this September. Just go on our website firehousekitchenshow.com. Um, yeah, the last chili cook-off, I made a bacon chili, and I mentioned that before. I thought it was delicious, but, uh, I, they told me I used too much bacon, and I said, that's... You never use too much bacon. That's not possible. You can't, you can't use too much bacon. Well, you know? it better be good. It better be good. <laughs> hey, well, let's uh, taste let's, this. Let's taste it. Let's see how this, uh, Szechuan chili is. All right. Now, is it spicy? Uh, it's a little spicy. All right, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Mmm. Tasty, right? Oh my goodness, it all comes back. I actually, now I remember, I tasted this at the chili cook-off, and this completely blew me away. Well, it's time to take up. Thanks a lot, Larry. Awesome, awesome great. job. Great. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, or how to donate to the Burn Center, or how to donate to the Isotown Museum, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. You can also friend us on Facebook at Firehouse Kitchen. Larry's recipes will be up there. Every week, our recipes will be posted up on our website. And uh, Larry, thank you so much. We're going to be coming back next week with some more fire fires. We're going to be doing some more blue-collar cooking next week on... Firehouse Kitchen. All right, Larry. Very good. Let's, uh, I'm going to finish this right now.